Rogers, it's me, Luna Hunt. Me, Janine, behind the camera. Talking to the moon. We are going to have a little we've been for a little picnic in there earlier on which is called St John's Gardens that's St George's Hall we have the art museum here and we have the library here and then we have the British Museum here so we're gonna go and have an explore So silly me, calling myself proper live birds, and I've just called this the wrong museum. I called it the British Museum, and it's not. What is it? The World Museum. It's the World Museum. It's in Liverpool, but it's the World Museum. <laughs> so we're just waiting to go in. We've got ten minutes before our ticket. You do need to book your tickets. Um, they're still free, but you just need to book them. And we're going to go and look at a thing called AI, which is more than human, which looks super interesting. We haven't been in here for so long, Luna. What's that? Is that pterodactyl? Pterodactyl. Mm -hmm. We've seen the crab, Luna. It's a giant spider crab. The first floor it usually has an aquarium on it, but it's closed. So we're going up to the second floor to the AI exhibition. So we've had a bit of a change of plan. Um, there's no tickets for the AI exhibition. You've got to book them separately online to the, to the museum. Um, and they do cost £17, but there's none at the moment. So we're going to just have a look around the rest of the museum. We're in the book house now. So let's see what's in here. Who's looking at you? Found a tarantula. That's massive. Oh, I like it. Has it got a name? Um, this isn't tax. Dammy. Oh, these are called smooth beetles. I really like them. Okay, I didn't know this. That's disgusting. Pale green, pale little grubs feed on the flower and turn it grey and mouldy. That's even a human carrying a car for 20 kilometres. They're so strong, aren't they? So do them only for the same They're not real. These are supposed to be emperor scorpions, but we haven't seen them move, so Luna doesn't think that they're real. There's two of them. You can see how this would be a lovely room to come to, though, when everything's open to see. Oh, Luna, it reminds me of the bug farm that we went to in um, Suffolk. Oh, no, where did we go to the bug farm? Do you read the bug place where we ate the bugs? Yeah. What was that called? Where was that? Was it in South Wales? We'll find the name. We were with Annie, yeah. It's a bast. Up to level three. Come on. Dad's just told me that you see this pre-dynastic. So this was before the dynasties. Dynasty one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
How many spinners do you spray, Evie? 31. Wow. Oh, and then we get the Romans. What are you taking photos of, Lum? Personally, I really like all the Egyptian jewellery um, and I have some gorgeous pieces of lapis lazuli at home, which is known as the Egyptian stone. Walk like an Egyptian. This is really interesting. I didn't know how uh, Liverpool was so important um, in archaeology and Egyptology. And nobody. This is Luna's favourite room. What what room is it, Luna? The mummy room. I don't know if you can see that, but let's find some better light. That little word in the middle of the rose is Arabic, and it is my name in Arabic, and my name comes from the city of Alexandria in Egypt. Just thought I'd share that little tidbit with you. So in one of Liverpool hospitals, they uh, they had a mummy there that they were x-raying and they smashed the chest open and found all of these little tiny amulets inside the chest of a mummy. How interesting is that? So this along here is four metres of the Book of Dead. I don't know if you remember in our London vlog, I think it was J1, um, when we went to the British Museum, we were able to see the Rosetta Stone, and it was the Rosetta Stone that enabled people to decipher what the hieroglyphics were about. Under normal circumstances, you'd be able to come and smell what these smell like. This is the mummy of Tarenti. You can see each part of the mummy. Oh, you don't know the identity of this mummy. What is this place? What is this place, Luke? <laughs> the facts are always less than what really happened, of course. There is no greater agony than bearing an untold story inside you. That is very, very true. It takes no compromise to give people their rights. It takes no money to respect the individual. It takes no political deal to give people freedom. It takes no survey to remove the pressure. Harvey Mills. Oh, we like him, don't we? It is not our differences that divide us. It is our inability to recognize the Oh, I could just stand here forever and just read all these quotes. I don't know where Luna is. Wow. A queer old pair, like two left shoes, male and male. You can tell by the ribboned balls we crook beneath our left front paws. Undertones of grey and jade 
ringed like tiny moons in its darker sun. And the travelers among you might think of a desert thistle, its pale spines picked out by starlight. Wow, Luna! So that was really, really cool, that place. Um, it was basically a writer called Sarah Howe it visited the museum and she wrote a series of poems about seven ceramic objects and the poems reflect the journeys from the homelands in China, um, obviously the delicacies of ceramics which also reflect her own journey from as being a Hong Kong born a uh, person uh, and then at the end it asks you to reflect on is this how you feel when you travel so it was really really cool the lights were gorgeous weren't they now? so I felt relaxing dizzy. I felt dizzy at one point did you? yeah <laughs> the room felt like it was alive it was gorgeous could stay there for an hour we're gonna go and get a drink anyway we've had um, I think Luna's and had enough of Alex even though she's still taking lots of photos do you want to drink? Yes. The browns and then there's a pink. Much needed drink. Um, what did you think of the museum? It was brilliant. We thought that we'd only be in here for a little while and we've been in here for two hours nearly. Nearly two hours. Um, so a lot of stuff isn't open but it's still worth coming and having a little look around. Most of the stuff's free. Um, yeah, I quite enjoyed that. That was nice and I feel so like refreshed after being in that little room for a bit to you. Yeah, that was lovely. That's it. Relaxing. I don't know. I don't think I introduced this. This is our tie and this is our neck. And I think that's it for today. What do you think? Yeah. I do, yeah. Oh. <laughs> or we'll be here all day. <laughs> So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you have to click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment down below. I like that. Like this video. I like this video. But stay awesome, stay awesome, well, love yourself, a little and change ya. Bye! <laughs> Bye guys! Talking to the